my first boyfriend i cannot skip that part because kuna vile iko connected to my story so um tuko pale kwa wepesi kisumu wepesi tuko kwa wepesi eh mimi na my kcse certificate hizo enzi tulikuwa tunava ninio eh some high heels you guys i started putting on high heels kitambo not now i'm just addicted to high heels yeah yeah um, i i used to be a fashionista before i i used to do some very good second hand clothes from america beautiful ones so i love i love dressing it is in me i started long time sasa tukapanda wepesi and then come comes now i'm speaking german she thank you then comes this this gentleman with um alikuwa ameva denim alikuwa ameva denim huyu mtu huyu 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 jakakdimu eh ya rodi kopany kakdimu and rodi kopany i don't know the difference but now i'm just describing the area where the guy used to come from see you come money see you come hey see you come money rodi kopany road company ama ni kakdimu i don't know i cannot differentiate sasa There is this guy who came in a denim juu chini juu na chini longi na top then he caught my eyes but then again i was very innocent how does a, a form for uh, liver eh katia somebody it's weird you can you, you can't even dare. you can just admire but i realized that i liked the guy But the guy, so Robin, can you stop it? The guy was a little bit older. Net, net in a little shida. Net was in a little shida. Naham. Really? Eh? Sasa tutafanyaje kama inaham? Iko sawa. Mkitap you have to tap 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 guys. This is hang. You have to tap tap tap. Yes, tunapiga story. Leo ni ile siku. Sasa This guy caught my eye, but then again, sikuwa na uwezo ya kumkatia. Then Mungu si ni mwema. Semeni Mungu ni mwema. Mungu ni mwema. Mungu ni mwema. The guy sat next to me. Nyuma. Behind. We were seated behind three of us. There was another person. So we were one, two, three. Dere na passenger mwingine. We were how many passengers? Four. Guys. Me I don't even know how we started. How the hand started walking on me in the wepesi. There were some jackets being put on me and my my legs were just automatically spreading and the hands were passing by and eh like it was like a movie. Even if you nilikatiwa mimi sikukatiwa ati ninakutaka you look good na mkono hapo kwa wepesi eh baka akaweka jacket juu yani mguu ina ina spread to automatically unajipata tu bas cloud nine that is how i met my first boyfriend i love you Unajua nini? Kenyans. <laughs> Kenyans, they don't we don't talk about we don't lyric. You know, we don't lyric na kupenda. 
you have uh, you have beautiful eyes uh, yani hiyo lugha hakunaga ni kama tu ile lugha ya zima hiyo ta twende nayo that is the african way those days sio kama mume change maybe mume change eh lakini hizo enzi ni ria 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 twende So mimi hivyo ndivyo nilikatiwa. Mimi nilishtuka tu ria mkono imepita. Ah nimejiachilia koti imewekelewa juu. Clitoris is being clitorid. Things are happening. We pace is running too fast. We are arriving Nairobi. The guy is escorting me to <laughs> No, he didn't escort me. I took a shortcut tukachukua zile matriza isi isi isili those days those matri hey mimi nilipanda hizo matri for the first time zini lishtuk eh alafu zilikuwa na ngoma ngoma zingine hapo za za mayu za US eh ukisikia akina nani waki rap huko ndani akina lea akina asha eh hizo ndio zilikuwa na ngoma Unasikia uh, Mary J Blige ameachilia cha alafu unasikia who let the dog so hul 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 we are ready to it <laughs> Akina eh have you ever oh have you ever have you ever loved somebody alafu nani anakuja na take over Whitney Whitney anakuja na take over hapo makoro Hey guys, msinifanye ni waweke hizo ngoma. Vile Americans walikuwa wanatuchangaya, eh? Nikapanda hizo matri, tukaenda isich. Guys, that was like my first real 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 engagement, intimate action with a man, with a real man. Yaani mwanaume anaamka kitu yake inaamka vizuri that was my first engagement with a real man and i was this young innocent girl mwenye mimi sikuwa explore my whole life sikuwa explore my dad was strict enda shule soma ukimaliza hiyo maneno mengine baadaye so i was a very disciplined girl sikuwa yonja mpaka nikamaliza shule nikatoa hiyo uniform na bado wacha nianze kuonja the first day ilikata kuingia it refused the head was too big because down there was too young too tight too small the head refused so the guy gave up he we tried a tried a ikakat <laughs> Mshai sikia nunu simiti. Nunu simiti. Hmm? There is this guy I met. Ali Ninoki. Guys, I've had like three episodes where yani hata ujaribu aje aingi. Nunu me God blessed me with nunu simiti. To date. Yani I have the most beautiful nunu in the world. Ila inaenda inafunga kama simiti. It's like you're a virgin. That is who nyako is hey, to date. Na niko na watoto. Na watoto warefu wakubwa kubwa. Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. Oh, slow must be done. Can you go and eat? Me can't stop. It's so bad. Life reden. Wie wie macht man das? Wie ich mag. <laughs> he came out of that nunu and it is still tight very tight so guys our first attempt refused huyo mwanaume akanizindikisha nyumbani nikaenda nyumbani anyway that was not the story the story was how i came to germany mtu aliuliza hiyo swali so i wanted to take you through hiyo part because we will always be capturing Jarodi Kopany we will put him in the mix kidogo so mnajua hii story inatoka wapi na inaenda wapi we will capture the guy anaingia kwa story tunamtoa tunaendelea na story yetu hivyo hivyo 
tukiendaga sasa after meeting this my guy my boyfriend now i had a permanent boyfriend not permanent but a regular so unajua kenya when you have a regular nunu inakuluwa vizuri unaromboswa every weekend friday saturday hmm? babe hapo alafu zile enzi tulikuwa tu na zile simu za nini booth telephone booth zile za ku unaingiza pesa unaongea haraka haraka eh niko hapa eh, tukutane hapo basi hivyo hizo enzi those were the days eh ama reverse call you ask for a reverse call una unaongea hapo na kashiriki shiriki tano mnapanga line si mnajua hizo hizo ni hizo simu it is not long ago yani guys civilization is running too fast Now I am I can talk to the whole world in my kitchen. The whole world is civilized. Mpaka watu wako kwa village wananiona. We Nyako write a book. I will. Sasa tulikuwa pale pa kuanza kuuza goods your own goods. Hmm? Ujue niko na deni ya estate mzima walishanichangia door to door ile door to door na kitabu haujaenda maju umenyimu wa visa your first visa because you cannot say guten morgen back to drawing board so mimi i'm dating already i'm dating my 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 boyfriend already but boyfriend wangu mimi guys mimi niliwambia nga mimi dem generous i don't ask men for money I yani I don't know how to ask. Mimi sio ka ile kategori ya ya afadhali nilie kwa Mercedes. Ai mimi sikuwa giuko. Na unaga ni aibu. Hata tu kupigia mwanaume bei ya nunu. Ati leo leo nachukua 20,000. Naanza aje. Ten ndio ni analish ai hapana yani a uh -uh. maybe i am the cheapest commodity around maybe to date siwezi uliza mwanaume pesa siwezi i can't hivyo tu ndivyo niko cuz i believe eh, it should be much more mtu akikuonea huruma akuzindikisha na ka 1500 ama na kathao si ni sa <laughs> so guys my first time to get into the market to sell my 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 goods was in Hallingham Hallingham I went to visit a friend of mine there and um, I left a little bit late Hapo tu kwa barabara hiyo barabara ya kwenda nini I don't know sijui inaitwaje hiyo barabara but it is ni, 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 ni barabara ilikuwa inajulikana ikishafika masaa moja saa mbili hivi akina njeri washatokelezea akina njesh akina waboi akina meri eh bas sasa mimi nikatoka kutembelea best yangu hapo Hallingham masaa mbili masaa mbili saa tatu hivi apo ya ya eh apo mimi nikasimama kwa stage lakini nikiangalia hivi street naona mademu wamevuka wamevuka wameva tu vitu fupi fupi ah nikasema eh hata mimi leo naingia mix kidogo kidogo mzungu ndio huyo eh hey, nikasema is this really happening my first custom akizienzi eh mudoni wa mudoni wa kwanza akafika it was like it was like god showed him <laughs> because you know what sikuwa na mpango sikuwa na plan so guys me i did not sikuwa najua nairobi So the day I met that muzungu hmm? <laughs> ilikuwa tu ile I will not tell you the real act 
nitawambia tu it was uh, I mean, uh, a short time experience nililipwa 1000 1000 Kenya shillings and I was dropped at madhouse madhouse yenyewe my first time to, to, to put my leg madhouse ni usiku niliokuwa tu na huyo mzungu mm? akaniangusha hapo madhouse mimi nikaona tu tu stairs tuko na tu lights the first time my first experience with civilization in nairobi nikaona stairs tuko na tu lights alafu tena unapiga kona unaingia tena iko na tu lights alafu unaingia ndani unaingia kwa nyumba dark iko na red lights ni ku dark uone watu Mm. Ukiona mtu ni pale kwa dance floor, hiyo dance floor ya Madhouse. E. Nikashindwa huko ni wapi? Alafu nikaanza kustudy hapo madem vile wana behave. Hey naona walami. My first that was my first touch to civilization. Mm? Mimi na kataa kangu, nikajirombosa hapo nini 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 nini. Guys, kidogo kidogo nikakuwa member I don't know how I graduated to being a member at Madhouse I can't explain but nilijipata mimi ni member tunaingia anga free naambiwa anga free sa hizo I told you iji na nyako I was I was um, given at Madhouse Madi Madem wa Madhouse akina Njesh eh akina wa boy ndio walinipatia ga iji na iji na nyako wakisema m mm, Oh demo angani wa Niro. Hizo wenzi tulikuwa tunaita wa Afrika wa Niro. Eh? Mimi nilikuwa nimependa wa Afrika. Jukazi yao ni raisi kisa au pigi bay. Wanakupiga, wanakupatia ile kitu wako nayo. Eh? Mimi sikuwa na jisubwa kusubwa kwa wazungu mara wa umewa brush nywele mara mara. Mm, mm, mm. Yaani aibu. Yaani I used to be a decent uh, uh, dinene. Venda. I used to be a decent. Be decent, shy, no price, no price tag. Just take it as you see it. Fanya nayo vile unataka, rudisha sokoni. Aki guys. So guys we cannot forget our past because it will always haunt you at some point. Lakini if you accept it gracefully the way I accept my past gracefully you have nothing to be ashamed about. You can only make the best out of out of it. And maybe <laughs> In my journey nifundishe wa madem waache kuenda hiyo barabara hiyo barabara ya ya umaraya na mkitaka kujua mimi nilikuwa malaya mjinga imagine siku nyingine nishavaa tu jeans yangu tight ni watu i can dress imagine 25 years ago the way i was looking and i can still put my clothing together mtu admire now Now imagine then when I just put on a tight jeans trouser with some decent top inafika hapa haifiki kwa matako inaacha matako hivyo with some high heels eh and some those days synthetic wig weaves zilikuwa zinaka kama natural weave because they were being made with some passion with some love weaves za zamani zilikuwa zinaka kama human hair sasa hizo umeenda umewekewa wivu kama 4 5 6 my friend unaenda kuua kenge unatoka unaenda kuua kenge he sasa hizo nime and then Nairobi used to be clean ile traffic ya Nairobi nimeona nimeshtuka Nairobi used to be yani scars i kwa over, over nini crowded sasa hii Nairobi ko crowded Yaani unatembea kwa street mtu anakunotice. Saa hii unagongana na watu unangangana bagu umeka tu hivi. Nairobi ya ikaniki. Eh. Hey, yawa. Eh? Hey, Mimi Nairobi ya uko tu hivi. Eh? <laughs> hey? So. 
Siku moja nimetoka tu hivi. Tao, ria. Masa tatu, una siku hizi hata nimesikia kanjoa na kimbiza malaya. Malaya ana chake. Unashuka tu ria. Kuja hapa. Aku kwa ngana vitu kama hizo. Unajirombosa tu pole pole, unaenda tu safari yako, ukipatana na afande ana patrol anakwambia niaje, poa. Unaendelea na safari, una ukitembea huko Koinange, unapatana na kina nani? Ni same. Unapatana na kina wakili. Eh? James Orengo. Unaambia hi. Hi mwasi. in such a dingy areas. I didn't know. <laughs> Nika 
nikaingia kwa hiyo gari nikapelekwa kwa restaurant sijawahi kula kwa kwa restaurant ile real 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 ile unajua kushika fork na na na, na, na knife vizuri unatetemeka na chumba huku ni wapi the ambience alone the serenity scares you unasema gari yani hujenda kuuza lakini unashindwa kupiga bill guys train yourself to be classy before you go out there you might lose a lot of things like nyako mimi nilienda streets kama niko green i didn't know nothing i was confused i was getting highest bidders on the street and i was literally running away because i'm like what does you want <laughs> so let me tell you how it ended i see you live goal i think imesha ebu nione Live goal imesha ah bado it's almost sasa nikapelea kwa restaurant Um, 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 windi unajua ni mtu civilized ni mtu wa kutuna do zake and i think alikuwa anatafuta mtu ako na experience kwa hiyo kwa hiyo area where unajua ni nini unataka mimi hapo nishaanza kutetemeka na mafok zangu na na spoon akaona tu vile nakula this this windi dropped me like like yesterday akaniambia when you finish eating i drop you pia huyo akani drop madao sakaniacha huko Look at yourself. Hmm? Look at yourself. Guys, I had the goods, but the head was empty. The head was empty. I didn't have the business uh, uh, language <laughs> of selling the nun. I didn't have because I, I didn't have experience. I didn't even know what it takes to to do that job. I just went for to to it maybe for some small change and I disappear. And that is how life treated me. That is how life treated me. Hmm? So, where were we headed with this story? How did I come to Germany? I realized that madhouse I can collect some money, go to school, take myself to German school. Sibren ni yangu. All the goods I have them. What it takes to come to Germany? Niko na kiri. Nunu is there. It's my own. I can trade it how I want, when I want. I can do what I want. I'm a free person. So I started to trade it. Sasa serious. Ile nikipata kama Afrika hapo sipigi bei. Mimi ile nitapewa. Thao nachukua. Kesho tena na Rauka ka 1500 nachukua. Kesho ingine 500 hivyo hivyo nalipa shule ai nikalipa shule fornax kama mnajua fornax mwalimu kamao teacher susan susan ndiye alinifundisha kijerumani vigetes dia guten morgen my name is ich fahre nach dorschrad ich heiße atieno ich bin uh, 100 jahre alt dorschland ist schön <laughs> ich will heiraten. Ich liebe dich. <laughs> Bas. Mimi nikauza nunu hapo madi. Una nakunywa na jirombosa na tupombe wangu. Those days they used to sell beer. Wacheni na hizi beer mnakunywa siku hizi. Those days the beer was inspected it went through kbs it was a healthy beer where ukikunywa unanona beer za siku hizi ukikunywa unashikwa na kansa unakufa cause they are not being checked those things are little what people are drinking now those beer hizo sio beer nilikuja kenya nikakunywa hizo beer i almost died the beer we used to drink those days was purely KBS product ile imepita ni bia ukikunywa it brings you health bia za siku hizi unakunywa unashikwa na kansa free information take it leave it kunyweni tu hizo vitu shauri zenu sasa me i used to drink oh bia was sweet oh bia was healthy sunday to sunday tulikuwa tunakunywa tasca lady of your high tulikuwa tunakunywa Tasca ilikuwa inaitwa Tasca Malt. 
ilikuwa anga na rangi ya green hivi taskamal very healthy unaweza kunywa 20 lakini bado uko tu chonjo eh unaweza kunywa 20 bado uko tu chonjo bado uko tu sawa bado una nini una unapima rada customer bado 20 zimepita alafu unashuka huko chini madaus unashuka huko chini kuna fried rice the chinese wanaleta fried rice hapo na some chicken guys life used to be good in nairobi i don't know what happened ukishamaliza 20 malt za hapo unaenda una top up na fried rice alafu unaingia ongora ongora pigwa vitu rudi kazini eh hey, hivyo that was my life yes <laughs> haya mimi nikakusanya kusanya nikajipeleka shule si niko na brains i learned some german then what did i do next to do what to work as a housemaid kila kitu ikaenda through unaenda embassy unaulizwa tuswali si tuswali sasa hizo usha learn guten morgen guten morgen we get us here good sasa hizo uko, uko rada kuna zile umekram si ati unajua kijerumani hizo ni zile ume, umeka kwa kili ju it the question might come nikaenda kwa priska watu wanajua priska priska and uh, priska audit and uh, the brother the agency that used to bring people to germany tena ulikuwa una apply after 3 weeks uko my you mm. so so our days life was soft soft life yani una apply leo 3 weeks unaitiwa visa unaambiwa visa imeiva njo and they used to pay for you mpaka air ticket ya kukuja maju mhm alafu visa tulikuwa tunabembelezwa na visa mhm haya mimi nikapa tena nilipandishwa my first flight to germany swiss swiss those days yani ukipanda ndege ku count you could count africans in that plane wale walipata anga wazungu those, those are the people who used to fly to maju those are the days when yani ndege ikitouch down watu wana clap ndege mzima people are jubilating to the pilot siku hizi hata ndege ikiland ni kama everybody died in that plane those are our days ndege iki 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 iki, iki land yani you feel that like you have landed in europe Ndege watu wana clap hey! to the pilot those were the days what on any na what was it with yani ndege ina, inaingia ujerumani ni kama kila mtu alikufa kwa hiyo ndege wakazikwa i wonder how times change hmm? anyway i took my first flight to swiss i landed in geneva and ga geneva and ga capital city of swiss i landed there i had a problem with the escalator i've never been on an escalator before this running stairs going up and what to our zungu were laughing at me i was scared eh? climbing the escalator guys i can recollect my first experience very very well so when i landed i landed in uh, surik surik <laughs> eh? to the land surik hmm? we were like three au pairs from kenya tulikuwa watatu tuka nini uh, nairobi surik surik frankfurt frankfurt nikakuja kuchukuliwa guys i landed in a damn rich family here in germany I landed in a damn rich family. Baba anaendesha Ferrari. Mimi atasijui. I didn't even know the meaning of Ferrari. I was just seeing it as some low cheap car. 
imechor kwa farasi hivi am like hizi ni gani hizi haki civilization wewe and the opportunities that left me because of my my danda danda i was danda village village mindset <laughs> and then guys mimi nimekuja maju yani nilikuwa nikiva hii utu tutapotoa nini mnajua hii utu tutapotoa crippling nilikuwa na vanga hizo matiti yangu ilikuwa anga ile saa sita dot dot unaona tu ikifanya nikitembea hata saa hii bado ni saa sita juzi nime, nimekosa kuva bra nikafungiwa account bado ni saa sita lakini ni zile saa sita yani zimeachilia zilikuwa ile strong saa sita si watu wali ni employ huyo mbabas alikuwa ananimezea mate siku anajua had i been intelligent i could be the owner of a ferrari now but my village mind i was like um baba ananiangaliaje and then i had never had a real experience with a white man napeleka mzungu wapi um mzungu nampeleka wapi he eh? na vile alikuwa ameninoki akiniona na uto to top stwang anakuwa confused na mimi sikuwa na somarada hmm? Mimi, my second thought was like i want to continue trading my goods so that i can get money and help my family back in africa mimi akili yangu hata ilikuwa kwa huyu mzungu mzungu anakufa hapa na meza mate na mimi sioni hmm? and that is how i left the family because they didn't see any interest i was showing no interest and then again hii ukora ya kunyang'anya mtu bwana yake pia sikuwa nayo hii ukora ni niko tu nayo saa hii naweza simama kwa kwa kamera niseme mimi napenda bwana ya huyu mtu na kuna kitu utanidu nikishapenda nimependa utadu those days i was like eh na nyanganya na bwana ya mtu how i was too innocent to do that no that is a no go so that is how the, that opportunity passed me hmm? that is <laughs> that is how <laughs> That is how that opportunity passed me. The family dropped me after four weeks. Niliambiwa kanyaga kubwa kubwa. You have not understood the assignment. Next. <laughs> that is my first visa, first experience, first landing, and then my real journey starts from there. After being chased out of the family my real journey starts from there stay tuned for part 2 stay tuned sawa sawa hiyo story imeisha stay tuned tutaanza hiyo journey ya kufukuzwa what did i do what happened twende nalo hivyo hivyo tukiedaga